welcome everybody and also a very special welcome to those of you who are joining us on YouTube. Um, every day I remember your intentions in Mass, the intentions of those who come here to God's Cottage, the intentions of the readers of the Curate's Diary and its promoters, and also the intentions of our YouTube family, praying that together the power of the Holy Spirit will come upon us and that something that will be able to bring something of God's blessing into the world. But very welcome, everybody, and a special thanks to those who give the videos the thumbs up and those who place the comments underneath. I deeply appreciate it. Even the comments that are not very complimentary, deeply appreciate it. And we, we pray God's blessing for everybody. Today we're having a special green scapular afternoon, an afternoon when we're focusing on the green scapular. And sometimes Christians from other traditions, they mock us Catholics for our use of things like the miraculous medal and the green scapular. It's possible even that I'll get a few negative comments beneath this video. Uh, from people from different traditions who uh, think that the green scapular and things like that are a little bit superstitious, or more, they might suggest that more than a little bit superstitious. But anybody who does so, I refer you to the Acts of the Apostles, where we read, God did extraordinary miracles to the hands of Paul so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick, and the diseases and the diseases and evil spirits left him. Same thing. Very same thing. The bringing of handkerchiefs and aprons to the sick, uh, to those who needed deliverance, whatever, and the blessings happening. Same thing as uh, what we believe in when we give people things like the green scapular and the miraculous medals. And Paul also says, what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. What proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. God's love is there for everybody. Everybody. Not everybody is open to God's love. Take the case of the prodigal son. The prodigal son, the love of the father was there for him at all times. But the father's love only became of value to him when he came to his senses and turned back. But God's love is there for everybody. And God desires to bring blessing to everybody. Again, not everybody is open to the blessing. But it is God's desire to bring blessing to everybody. And sometimes the way in which he does so, just like in the early church, uh, their use of cloth that St. Paul had touched um, was a source of blessing uh, to the people that the cloth was brought to, so too things like the green scapular and the miraculous medals can be a source of blessing to the people who receive them. The beautiful thing about them is their pure gift. Pure gift of God's love. Now, those of you who are familiar with the brown scapular will know that the brown scapular, in being enrolled in the brown scapular, you take on various commitments. It's a form of consecration to God. Welcome. But the green scapula, by comparison, is pure gift of God's love. Nothing is asked of, of the person. Now, of course, there's the prayer there, and there's the hope there that um, the green scapula will lead to the blessings that will lead to the person's conversion. But nothing is asked of the person. It's pure gift. Uh, when a person receives the green scapular. And so it is totally okay to give the green scapular or the miraculous medal to a person who is in total rebellion against God. 
And sometimes it's totally okay to give it to them without them knowing. Like the um, IRA terrorist um, who later converted, but who discovered that his mother had uh, stitched miraculous medals right into the, the hem of his garments. Uh, he was a bummer. He never killed anybody and he didn't get killed and he came to the Lord afterwards. Uh, but thanks to his mother <coughs> stitching the miraculous medals uh, into the hems of his, uh, his garment by his clothes. But so too the green scapular, it can be placed under a person's bed, it can be given to any person uh, regardless of whether they have faith or not have faith. And while it, it in a sense is designed to be warden, um, it doesn't have to be warden. It can be just kept in a person's pocket or um, wherever. It's a, a gift of God's love. The little leaf that comes with the green scapular, the print in it is so small uh, that you, want, you wouldn't need, there wouldn't be in need of a miracle for your eyes if you're able to read it. Put it that way. A uh, tiny print, but um, it tells the story or it's a testimony of a father, Robert MacDonald. Come ahead in. Come ahead in. You're very welcome. But Father Robert MacDonald's testimony is shared in the little leaflet. Now, with a name like MacDonald, where would one think that his parents or grandparents came from? Isn't it almost certain that they came from the southeast of Ireland uh, originally? Uh, now, he was a, a priest in Montreal in Canada, and it was in Montreal he had his ministry, and it was in Montreal that he experienced the blessings of the green scapular. Now, again, while I mentioned that the green scapular is particularly designed for beginners in the faith, as it is, obviously, uh, even priests can receive blessings from it, as we can see from uh, the, the testimony of Father Robert MacDonald. But his testimony is this. Come ahead in. You're very welcome. Father MacDonald's testimony is this, that he was back in 1948, I think it was. So he was a little before some of our time, uh, shall we say. And I presume at this stage he's gone to his reward. Haven't been able to check that out. Uh, perhaps somebody from the YouTube will be able to tell us when he went to his reward. But he was in hospital with pneumonia, and this was before the days of penicillin, and he wasn't responding to treatment, and it was looking bad, and they were speaking about a major operation. And then a little nun came in to visit him. <coughs> Her name is not given. Perhaps she wanted to remain confidential. Perhaps she didn't want her uh, publicity for herself. But a little nun came in to visit him, and uh, suggested to him that he could be healed uh, through turning to our Blessed Mother and invoking our Blessed Mother of the Green Scapular. Come ahead. She gave her own testimony that she herself had ended up in hospital uh, with internal cancer, that she had been operated on for eternal cancer, and uh, um, they just opened her and closed her and told her, that there was nothing they could do, that she was full of it, and sent her home to, to die. And she invoked our Blessed Mother, the Green Scapular, and I think wore the Green Scapular, and uh, she got fed up waiting to die and went back to work. And uh, praise God, she was completely healed. So even priests and nuns can be touched by the Green Scapular. However, I would say to you, that things like the Green Scapular and the Miraculous Medals, well, the Miraculous Medals can be used by anybody to claim God's blessing. Uh, by anybody. We planted a few of them in the field outside when we were quoted two million for the field. Uh, that it would cost two million. Uh, we planted a few Miraculous Medals out there or let them fall or whatever happened out there. But we eventually got the field anyway. So anybody can, you know, in that sense, claim the Miraculous Medal, and anybody can also use the Green Scapular to give to people uh, who may not have the same level of faith as oneself. But I want to sort of say to you, if you feel that you love the Bible, 
You love the Mass. You love the Eucharist. You don't feel a need for the green scapular. I say to you, that's okay. That's okay. That these things can be helps on our faith journey. But just because that you yourself don't feel the need for the green scapular is not a reason why you shouldn't give it to other people. Uh, that they may have a need for the green scapular. Jesus said, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Now, sometimes people need something to stir their fate. It would appear that that Father Robert MacDonald, uh, that he had a need for uh, the green scapular to stir his fate. And the true, the, the green scapular, his fate was stirred and he received healing from the pneumonia at a time when things were looking bad, bad for him. He, so he, he received fate through receiving it. But perhaps some people will be so advanced in their own relationship with the Lord that things like the green scapular won't necessarily mean anything for them. And that's okay. But just because it doesn't mean something for you, don't look down upon those who find great help to the, to the green scapular and who are helped in their faith journey uh, to the green scapular. Faith is important somewhere down the line, even where the green scapular is concerned. There's a sort of what you might call three levels of faith. Firstly, there's the fate of the priest who blesses the green scapular. Now, not all three levels are required for, the, for God to work through the green scapular, and that's good news. But it, it would be good if somewhere along the line there was a person of faith who believed in the power of God, who believed in the power of God to work through the green scapular or the miraculous metal or whatever. So, uh, the first place where one prays that it would be fate would be in the priest who blesses it. Secondly, fate in the person who gives it to somebody else. If you are given the green scapular to somebody, then praying for the grace for yourself to have fate uh, that God's blessing will go out to the person through the green scapular. And then sometimes, sometimes, the fate of the person who receives the green scapular. In the case of Father Robert MacDonald, it touched him while hearing the story of the nun who was healed from uh, the uh, cancer through the green scapular that inspired his fate and receiving the green scapular inspired his fate. But it could be given to somebody who doesn't have fate. I remember many, many, many years ago as a young priest, there was a young lady who had had a brain hemorrhage and she was in a coma in hospital. And um, the prognosis wasn't that good, put it that way. And I placed a green scapular under her pillow. Not sure whether you'd be allowed to do that in hospitals nowadays or not. But back then it, it was allowed. And praise God she recovered. Perhaps she'd have recovered all, uh, anyway. I don't know. But the thing is, uh, she was in a coma, she had had a brain hemorrhage, and um, the prognosis wasn't so good, and I placed the green scapular beneath her pillow, and she recovered. And uh, certainly her mother believed that the green scapular played a role in her recovering. I don't know. So she was in no position to have fate. She was in a coma. And um, I'm not so sure that she would have had much fate anyway because she wasn't a churchgoer. So there's a sort of three levels, and it will be important that there will be faith at least one of the three levels, faith coming from the priest who blesses it, faith in the person who gives it, and then the possibility of faith in the person who receives it. But not all three levels of faith are required for the, the green scapular to, uh, to work. In fact, our Blessed Mother promised uh, Sister Justine, who received the apparitions concerning the green scapular, uh, our Blessed Mother promised her that it would be a source of conversion, that the green scapular would be 
uh, lead to people's conversions. Incidentally, there is a connection between the miraculous medal and the green scapular. The miraculous medal was received by St. Catherine Labore in Rudebach in Paris. And Sister Justine, uh, her first apparition took place in the same church in Rudebach ten years later. Um, the apparition during which she received the instructions for the green scapular didn't take place in that church. She had been moved to a different convent, but it was later that year uh, she received the, the apparition. So there is a connection. There are sort of two gifts of our Blessed Mother arising from the same apparition, the uh, set of apparitions, the miraculous medal and the green scapular. There is a connection between them. Sister Justine, her spiritual director, just like with um, Catherine Lorbore, the same spiritual director actually as well, and um, the same spiritual director instructed both of them to keep quiet, to not share about their apparitions. And so the miraculous medal was produced without anybody knowing why it was produced. It was produced and blessings started to flow from it, even though people didn't know why it was had been produced. And then likewise, the green scapular was produced and the people didn't know uh, why. And again, blessings were seen through the green scapular. Um, now, within ecclesiastical circles, uh, there were some reports for the bishop and so forth. And um, there was a priest who happened to see the report that was sent to the bishop concerning uh, the green scapular. And he wasn't so good at keeping secrets. So uh, word got out that it was this nun, Sister Justine, that had had apparitions and that it was through her apparitions that uh, the green scapula was given. And there she was, and she had promised to keep it uh, quiet, not to tell anybody. And now the story was out, and she was having the parry questions for the rest of her life. And in her very old age, she was tricked in a couple of times into revealing a, a little bit about uh, what she had seen and the, the beauty of our Blessed Mother. And that was one thing she used to stress. Our Blessed Mother, how in her old age this is, when she was, you know, uh, being tricked, um, how beautiful our Blessed Mother is. Now, the green scapular itself, on one side of the green scapular is the image of our Blessed Mother, as uh, was seen by Sister Justine, and with our Blessed Mother with her heart in her right hand. And on the, the, the reverse side, again, it's so tiny, um, one can hardly see it, but uh, there's a heart all ablaze with rays more dazzling than the sun and as transparent as crystal were the words used by Sister Justine. And that's what they try to represent there. And the heart pierced by a sword and surmounted by a gold cross. And if you really have brilliant, brilliant eyesight, you will be able to read on the back of it, Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us now and at the hour of our death in an oval shape around the heart. So today we're having a sort of a special afternoon uh, for uh, promoting the green scapular or encouraging people in the use of the green scapular when claiming friends for Jesus when claiming family members for Jesus, and also uh, when reaching out to people who need help, need healing. And as I said, it's pure gift. You don't ask anything of any person um, when they're receiving the green scapular. That's where it differs from the other scapulars, where uh, various obligations are taken on board. The green scapular is pure gift. And... I'll also say just one word about the blessings. I believe in two levels of blessings for items. I don't know whether you've ever heard of that before or not. There have been two levels of blessings. First of all, there's the general blessing on the item itself. And then there can be the specific blessing for the particular purpose for which 
one is receiving the item. So, for example, the green scapulars indeed have been blessed, but uh, today you have the opportunity there will be a specific blessing, not just for the green scapulars, but for other items during the Mass, a specific blessing calling down God's anointing, God's blessing upon whoever you're getting the green scapular or the medals or whatever it is for, that specific blessing. I very often, uh, when mass offering Mass for an individual, I very often, uh, during Mass, will bless something like the green scapular or bless something uh, like the miraculous medal uh, to send to the person uh, calling down, praying that through the medal or through the scapular, that God's blessing might go out to them. Um, incidentally, with the green scapular today, the normal price is one euro twenty-five each. But we're given a special promotion. If anybody wants to buy a pack of them for to, to give out to friends, uh, you can have a pack of twelve, which would normally be fifteen euro. Uh, you can have a pack of twelve for twelve euro fifty uh, today. I just invite you to call to mind now, uh, whoever it is you're planning to give the green scapular to. And whatever you think is their intentions, whatever you think is their need, I'll invite you to call that to mind and to hold that person or persons before the Lord. And we pray, Lord, for your blessing to go out to each person to whom a green scapular or a miraculous medal or anything like that is given. For your blessing, Lord Jesus, to go out to them. Lord, we would love for them to come to know you and to love you. We would love for them to have a sense of your love. Where the sickness, Lord, we would love for them to experience healing and blessing. And we pray, Lord Jesus, where there's real rejection of the faith. We pray, Lord Jesus, for a softening of hearts where perhaps the green scapular can't be given directly to people, but has to be discreetly placed within their belongings or whatever. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will work through the green scapular and through the miraculous medals and through the various other means. We thank you that you are a God of love. We thank you that you are blessed mother. You have given us the green scapular and the miraculous medals as pure gifts of your love. And we pray, Lord, that you will work in them and through them. That you, Lord, will work in them and through them. Above all, praying, Lord, for the conversion of the people for whom we are praying. But whatever their spiritual need is, or indeed our physical need is, praying, Lord, your blessing. And we ask this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.